felt like you're not doing shit with your life, don't feel bad. Just take a trip to the Museum of Failure. The entire place is dedicated to people who had worse ideas than you do. And some of these ideas are, well, let's just see for ourselves. Based in Los Angeles, the museum is the final resting place of the Google class. Created by the tech giant in 2013, there is no better way to tell everyone I'm a virgin by wearing Google glasses. Apparently spray-on condoms were a thing for a brief period in the early 2000s, so I guess one size could truly fit all. The spray-on product ultimately failed because it required a hardening time of three minutes. It was not really a fan favorite. Wait a minute. Do I have protection? Let me get under the bottom. Blow it off, let it dry. Then there's a throwback from the 80s when the toothpaste company Colgate tried to get into the frozen entree game. When you see the name Colgate, you kind of think clean, nice, white and crispy. But when they put that name on a box of frozen lasagna, it just really doesn't mesh well. Oh, and we can't forget about big pins for her because it's not ladylike for a woman to use a pen that isn't blindingly pink. Or what about this piece of nostalgia? Moment of silence for Blockbuster. Rest in peace to my childhood. I don't really see that as a failure. That's sort of like murder. I mean, Netflix and the internet came along and stabbed Blockbuster in the back. And now it ends up in the Museum of Failure. Blockbuster was great. Harley Davidson had a short-lived cologne called Hot Road. Yes, I said Hot Road. I keep wanting to call it Hot Rod because that just sounds better, but it is Hot Road. If I can picture what Harley Davidson's Hot Road may have smelled like, it was probably a mixture of white lithium grease, gas, and WD-40. Look, I'll be honest, if I have the chance, I would take a trip to the Museum of Failure. What other products do you think should be in the Museum of Failure? Let us know in the comments below, and for Rated Red, I'm Alabama Boss.